Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Windcraft. Now, we are back today uh, in the in this uh, beginning menu to select our class simply because Windtill's updated and this this is really cool. I I logged in a little bit earlier uh, before I was getting ready to do this and I saw it and I was like, "Damn, that's that's a really cool little like change to the UI." very happy with that but regardless let's get right into what we're doing so today it's gonna be a bit of a stable day we're gonna be horsing around and um i don't have any more puns but today we're i think getting our horse i believe stable story is is the mission where we get a horse so that when i'm traveling long distances i won't have to go as slow uh, you know Teleport's still really nice, but you never know. All right, so I have to get all the way over to uh, where I actually don't know. Turnaves, turnaves, turnaves. I don't know where that is. That's all the way back here. So I need to get back to Nimract. Luckily, I have some more of these uh, boat passes. So we got our good friend, the Sea Skipper, over here. I throw that right in. Where are you headed? Nemract, huh? All right, I'll get you there in no time. We're heading for Nemract, a poor port town. Makes as much money as it can off of trade. Despite how poor it is, everyone stops there just to, just to go to their bar. No good sailor would have been caught dead with, without some good old Nemract whiskey. So, how do you like my ship? I've had the old sea skipper for years now, but I wonder if you ever noticed the bell on her. Give her a ring if you want. There's a bell? My passengers just keep ringing it over and over to drown out my stories, though. They end up breaking it in the process, and it costs a small fortune to replace that whole thing. Back up your stuff. Our trip's over. Well, okay, that was a fast ride. Damn. I, I think I broke the bell as well, but I was not 100% sure. Alright, so I'm just going to throw that back up there. Alright, so I'm just going to have to run all the way over to Turnaves. So, I will see you guys when I get there. Alright, so I think I think we've arrived in Turnaves? Turnaves? Uh, who knows? Ah, uh, yes. Yes, we have. We are now entering Turnaves. I'm going to call it Turnaves. Um, I might be wrong, but the E tells me not. Ooh, some lore. This small town has laid quietly near Deadless for decades. Nearby lies a massive prison that few draw near. Interesting. So th there's a prison in this area, so it probably has a bit of a crime issue if, uh, if people ever break out, <laughs> which would not be fun. Oh, here we go. Uh, Anxer? Well, hello there! You seem just like the kind of adventurer who needs a trusty steed, yes? Yes. Well, normally I sell my horses for a decent profit, but I actually need some help. I'll make sure to give you one of our finest horses if you do. A few days ago, something peculiar happened. A group of armed cows attacked us and stole some of our horses. You know, a normal day. They started digging a tunnel under my barn. I believe they plan to use this tunnel to access the desert. They were taking orders from they were taking orders from two of them and it ended up stealing my stable key. Those dastards bastards, probably, plan to come back and steal even more horses. I need someone to take care of it. The way down there is right th here. Good luck. Bring Betty with you. She knows how to fight. In fact, during the attack, she kicked one of our the leaders in the face. Made him blind. Classic of her. Bring me back one stable key and be careful. I'm talking to about Betty, of course, not you. Good luck. Interesting. Who's Betty? Where is Betty? Uh, oh, that's Betty. Hello. Well, uh, I guess Betty's helping me fight? Interesting. All right, so I just need to explore this cave. Oh, yep. Okay, okay. Well, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hit you. Ow, those guys. Okay, those guys have a lot of health. Well, that's okay. We can take them down. Um. There we go. <laughs> I feel like I'm hurting Betty more than anything else. Okay, nope, Betty's fine. She's healing pretty quick. 
Gosh, I can't remember the spells. Good. Come on, come on. Okay, so we took down another rebel cow. There's another one there, but I'm just going to try and avoid it if possible <laughs> at this point. Come on, come on. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hit you. Oh, there's an armored rebel cow. Uh, okay. No, no, no. Stay right there. Uh, okay. Well, it doesn't matter. Cool. Um, Betty? Oh, <laughs> I thought I killed Betty for a second there. <laughs> Stay with me, Betty. We're going to do this. Oh, I discovered Ramek West Upper. Uh, I think it's West Lower at this point. Oh, sorry, Betty. Keep I keep hitting Betty, but I don't think I can really do much about that. <laughs> All right. Uh, Moo, Albert, someone is here. Can smell it. Moo. Oh, 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 he's, yeah, he's blind. Oh gosh, he's blind. Yep. <laughs> that was interesting. Oh, that's not what I wanted. No. Betty, help me! Albert the Strong is pretty strong. Okay, Meteor and Ice Snake. Uh, it, that was the wrong way to do it, but it doesn't matter. Okay. Whoa, whoa. <sighs> How? Okay. Oh, I got a key. I got a stable key. I mean, I don't think I had to kill him, but I did it anyway. All right. Betty? Did... What happened? I, I, I guess she's fine? Okay. <laughs> Hi, I got your stable key back. I'm sure gl uh, am glad to see you back and with the key. Wonderful. Here's your promise to us. You know how to use them, eh? Oh, dear God. Okay, let me tell you the basics. You can train your horse by traveling with them. The higher quality the horse, the faster it will go. You can attain... Better to your horses by breeding them. Put two horse saddles in the crafting area in your inventory to do so. Be careful if you do. You could end up with a much worse horse. Normally, you should have a 20% success rate. Anyway, you can talk to the horse merchant over there to get more horses for your breeding. Good luck. So, I got a brown horse. Oh, yeah. One of the finest horses in the stables. I see. Thank you. All right. So... Uh, I got a I got a bit of money to throw around. How much does a good horse cost? Okay, I can only buy a crappy horse. Cool. I mean, I guess I could try and breed the two of them. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Oh, duh, they level up, so they get better over time. Okay, interesting. So, is that that mission done? I think so. Ah, okay, there is a click button. All right, well. Uh, <laughs> that was a very short mission. I did not expect it to be that short, but we got a horse now. What's it look like? Just a little brown horse. Nice. Wee. Man, that thing is awful. Okay. Uh, since you interact with your inventory, your horse is despawned. Interesting. Okay. All right. Well, I just got to travel around with the horse a lot to make it a little bit better, I assume. And then probably buy better horses as well to breed it with. But we'll do that. I'll, I'll do that in my spare time. But let's do the next mission in this order. So we got green gloop. I don't know where this is. It's going to be all the way over at uh, Almush again. Interesting. All right. Hello. Come on. Let's -a go. Riding the horsey away. All right. So looks like we're close to where we need to be. So there's someone we need to talk to. Um, but on the way, my horse did level up, so I understand this a little bit better. So I can get it up to level 10 on both of those, but it is a tier 1 horse with no armor. So I believe that means higher tier horses can get to higher levels. Correct me if I'm wrong, unless I find out later. Um, but I'll have to keep my eye on that. That seems like a very interesting system. Alright, so here we have... Oh god, they're really throwing the, the names at me today. Alu's Terp. Uh, Elu. Oh, hey! You adventure over there. Would you mind helping me? You see, this cave behind me has been troubling me for the past while now. There are special slimes that live in there, and they drop a certain goo that is quite a delicacy. Oh, really? When brewed into a drink, they are called gooey slimes. Creative? And should be at the very back. A friend of mine drinks the stuff like water, and he refuses to work without it. Excuse me. However... 
Slimes have gotten stronger about a month ago. I'm unable to retrieve it anymore. I've come close to getting killed a few times. <laughs> you, however, seem much better equipped than I. Hopefully you can do it. If you decide to help me, you'll need to obtain a special device for retrieving it, as the slime will dry up quickly in the air. A less fickle glass blower, Yodbun, can make it for you. He should be living in a house in front of the Almush Bank. You'll need eight slimy goos, since we'll need a big batch of drinks. If you help, I'll be sure to tell him, and he'll probably let you into his shop. Okay, so I gotta go back to Almush. <sighs> okay, Luz. I like that you whistle for your horse as well. All right, well, <laughs> we gotta we gotta progress over to Elmush. Uh, okay, yeah. So it's got a bit of experience so far. Okay. Well, Elmush is right here, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna cut this. It's just gonna take me a second to get there. I kind of wanna wanna level up the horse a little bit. It would be faster if I was just teleporting, but there we go. He's just increased in level, and I can I can feel a bit of a speed difference. I mean, it's not as pronounced as it was. I've been playing um, uh, Borderlands, the first one. It, it is the the remastered version of the game. I've been playing the first one a lot lately, um, and the jumping in that game is so atrocious. It is. It's not bad. It's just wow. That's um. Man, that's that. Yeah, that's that's jumping, but it's like you're jumping on the moon. I don't know. I, I believe that's how it is supposed to be. But jumping in Minecraft just feel it makes me feel so heavy now. Like I, I jumped in and I was like, what the frick's going on? Anyway, uh, we have to go find the glass blower who's in front of the Elmuj Bank, which I definitely didn't just run out in front of and completely skip where it was i don't know what you're talking about i wasn't distracted and those guards aren't dying <sighs> okay so we gotta find yodban 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 i have no idea man i'm trying i'm trying i promise uh, ooh, glass? <gasps> it's Yodbun! Welcome to Yodbun's glass, glass brew blowery. What can I do for... Oh, another stinking adventurer, eh? So many have been coming up to me recently asking for a bloody scl slime scooper. Is that brother of mine stop working again? I swear, he's addicted to that slop. Anyway, for me to make you a scooper, you'll have to get five self stand. Come back to me once you've gotten a hold of it. You can dig it up from those sand piles around the desert. I don't know why he switched between Irish and Russian. I just that was just my inspiration, I guess. All right, so I gotta go get some soft sand. Ooh, I might have some already. I don't actually know. I don't think so. But I have to go find some soft sand to make a scooper. You'll need five soft sand. You can dig it up in the sand piles around the desert. I think I need a tool for that. I don't actually remember. I know I've seen the uh, the sand piles before, but I'm not really sure where. Ooh, that looks interesting. That's probably a part of a quest. Danger. Yeah, I'll stay away from that. Oh. Wait, am I just stupid? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised, but um, I have two soft sand already. Okay, well, I disabled auto pickup. Oh, oh, do I get it? Oh, I get it from those, like, uh, shifting sand blocks. Oh, I get it now. So I just got to search around for those. I think I think that's where I got them. Because I, I fought some stuff. I don't know. I'll have to review the footage. Unless it's confirmed for me in a second. Whoa, I leveled up. I didn't expect that. That's a nice little UI change for the level up. I like that a lot. Wind tells you are the best. Also, uh, I know some of you have been yelling at me for um, the stuff that I've been putting my points into. I agree that it's a bit absurd that I keep putting points in strength. So I'll start putting some in, in intelligence because this reduces the mana cost of, uh, of my spells, which would be very nice. So th th that's my bad for just being stupid about it. Um, sorry if that frustrated some of you. Honestly, looking back on it, it makes me a little angry that I put 30 freaking points 
into strength. I don't think it was that many because I think it adds in. Oh, why are they throwing experience at me? Oh gosh. All right, and then meteor for big damage. Ooh, that was. Ooh. Oh, I don't know what that was, but I got the key. Cool. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, oh. Ah, so this is the thing that I think I get the sand from. Yeah, yeah. I have I have sand now. So I have three of the sand. Count them. Three. Three sand. You think it's oh oh she's an ag spike. Oh, uh, you think it would be a little easier to find sand in the desert, but I guess we're looking for soft sand, so it's a little specific. <laughs> All right. What the? Why did it? Why did that scarab split into three scarabs? That was weird. All right, so I just need to look out for sand blocks. Sand blocks. Ooh, here we go. Another block of sand. There we go. Ooh, horse is growing stronger. Nice. Oh, I don't know why I'm suddenly having lag spikes. That's weird. Okay. Okay, cool. So now I have four blocks of sand. I just need one more. So, yeah, so that's how I get those. Um, I think my horse leveled up again. Yeah, four and four for jumps, jump height and speed. It's a little bit faster. All right, so I'll have to get another horse to breed it with see if i can get a better one i don't know if what i can do with um oh no, no i guess i could sell the old horses i don't know where would i sell them to the blacksmith i don't know i'll, I'll have to figure that out uh it would make sense that i would be able to sell the crappier ones to uh to the blacksmith just because that's how you get rid of all all the stuff you don't want really oh those don't look fun why is it so hard to find a freaking block of sand with stuff inside of it? Oh, there's one. All right. Well, enough, enough rambling. Now it's time to get down to business. To not watch the crappy remake. Oh, no. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Okay, okay. No, 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 no. Oh. Okay, okay. I don't like those things. The blister borners? Borer? Blister borer? Okay, okay. I got I got them. Got them. I got a couple of them. What the frick are those things? I just I just want the ice the the sand block. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on. There's it's weak to uh, ice. Okay. I don't think I do ice damage. Okay. Is that everything? I even got an extra... <laughs> I got an extra one. Alright, so I'm going to turn auto ingredient pickup again. Because it's really nice. And with our tier 1 level 5 horse, <laughs> we're going to go back to Almuj, deliver the soft sand, and then hopefully uh, Yadban, wherever he's from, Russia... Or Ireland. Um, I don't think it was actually Irish. It's just the first thing I thought of. Uh, wh wherever he's from, he can totally make it for us. I believe. Oh, I didn't believe that much, apparently. <laughs> oh, yep. And that's not good. Sorry, horsey. You'll be fine. Horsey? Okay. <laughs> I was like, I really hope you will follow me. Uh, okay, so it's out in front of the bank. I already forget where. Up here? Am I just stupid? Yes. Yes, I am. Hello. You have returned, I see. All right. Fork him over, and I'll make you the scooper. There you go. No idea why he wants this stuff, though. Maybe it's an acquired taste. So, wait. So I know he mentioned earlier that he's addicted to this stuff. Oh, I got the slime scooper. Okay, cool. Uh, I can put this in here, I guess. Uh, and I bet you I had a bunch of soft sand just sitting around somewhere in uh, in my chest, which I've organized, uh, which I'm very proud of. <laughs> um, so d he's lying about getting it for his friend to make a bunch of drinks. That's a lot of spiders. 
Um. Huh. I don't actually know. I mean, that if that's his brother, then he's lying to me, right? Ah, uh, who, who cares all that much? So I have to f fetch some Slamagoop for my friend. Um, so I think I get it by killing these guys? I'm assuming. I'm not actually 100% sure about that. Um, uh, okay. So I'm not, I'm not getting any so far. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong. Oh wait, no, no, no. I think he had, I think he said it was from special slimes in the back of the cave. So it was from slimy slimes. Gooey slimes? I don't know. So now I'm a goo. So, oh, jeez. Bit of leg, but that's okay. All right. So I have cave slimes and stuff, but is there special slimes? Yeah, slimy slimes. I knew it. Gooey slimes. It was close. All right. So that's one. Ooh, do the babies count? No. That's okay. All right. Okay, okay, okay. I think that gets me... Nope, not another one. Did it not die? Oh, jeez. Well, that was perfectly timed. All right, so I have three so far? Yeah, okay. So it looks like we're back to uh, the, the typical quest you would find in an RPG. Just fetch quests and stuff. I wonder if that'll change here soon. So I'd, I'd really like to get more and more of the story. Oh, wait, no, I don't want to drop the emeralds. Those are valuable. I'm just out of space. Is that why I haven't been picking up any more of the, the slime? Dang it. <laughs> All right, so I need four more, though. That's okay. Okay. Oh, there we go. Need three more. So it doesn't look like the uh, the baby slimes give me any. But that's okay. It doesn't seem like the big slimes give me... Uh, them all that often either. And I've killed them all, and I don't have all the stuff. All right, so I just got to wait around for them to respawn, I guess. Which shouldn't be too long. There we go. Cool. Okay. Are some of these cave slimes, and I just didn't read the name? Very possible. Yeah, I think that last one is a cave slime. That was too easy to kill. All right. Oh, hello. Cool. Alright, so I just need two more. You cave slime? Yeah, I, I don't really want to mess with you. Another cave slime. Let's throw that out. Here we go. Another gooey slime. Alright, one more to go. You, yeah, you're a gooey slime. There we go. This will be the last one. Then we're gonna get all the stuff. Oh, hello. Okay, last one. Okay, there we go. So I have nine. I have a little extra. That's okay. I also have thunder powder three. Ooh, that could be interesting. All right, but I need to get back out of here. I'm out of here. Uh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Nice. Okay. So. Yeah. All right. So we're, we're getting close to the, the entrance of the cave. Slash exit. Yeah. There we go. It's just nighttime. It's, it was hard to tell. All right. Getting back up. We're coming with your slime, buddy. Hopefully you're not a liar, but I think you are because your brother told me so. All right, so we got you some of that slime goo. Uh oh, I have to free up inventory space. Oh well, uh, that'll be interesting. Okay, goodbye. Um, what do I get rid of? I can get rid of that. Uh, I don't want that. I don't want these. Okay. 
I want to keep that on my hot bar along with that thing. Okay. Hello. Oh, you're back. Good to see you were able to get through there. Have you got a full slime scooper? Hmm. Yes. Everything seems to be ordered. Perfect. Thank you very much. Finally, I'll be able to get him in gear again. Why are all the vi villagers so fickle like that? Well, I suppose that's besides the point. I'll be sure to let him know you got mo uh, him most. What? You got him his most recent fix. He hangs around in a little black stall in the bazaar. There's a basement to it. Should let you inside now. And for your troubles, a little something for me as well. A little something from me. Oh, pff, duh. Now what did I get? Experience, emeralds, and I got access to the glass blowing merchant. That'll be interesting. So I just have an extra piece of slime goo for reasons, I guess. Not bad, not bad. All right, so he said he was in the bazaar. So I'm going to go check that out just because I'm curious. Not morbidly, just curious. Oh, there we go. I didn't realize I still held on to the item even after uh, the horse spawned. Makes sense, but yeah. All right, just ride the horse in. Try and get him more experience, you know, train him. So I believe uh, the glass blower is down here. I don't really know what purpose they serve, but there's, they said there was a basement and I've seen, yeah, right here. So is this it? Glass blowing merchant. <gasps> oh, so they sell like necklaces and stuff down here. Ooh, for, oh, you have to trade it for uh, items. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I'll have to check that out eventually probably do some of that stuff off camera but we have time for another quest a meaningful holiday it's a long one though that's okay we got we got time we got plenty of time here oh it's actually right here in Almush. perfect i thought it would be in another far away place also i did look into getting uh some of the scrolls because i know one of you mentioned that it's been a little while sorry if i don't remember names um I did look at the things, but I noticed that they used soul points. At least one, one of the ones that I looked at used soul points. So I assume that they all do. So I don't know if I want to do that, but I don't know. We'll see. All right. So we're here. Oh, that's, that's what? What is, what? Okay. That's a weird design. Just a little bit. You might want to keep your door closed. Hello, it's Haley. Hello, dear. My name is Haley. Nice to meet you. This is the Almush Charity Center. We're looking for volunteers to help the homeless this year. If you want to help someone else this year, our boss Nick is already out in the thick of it. He's a really special man. I'll write his location down for you in our book. Oh, remember, this is charity work, so hopefully gratitude is a good enough reward for you. Gratitude is always the best reward. Unless it's my job, then no. This is volunteer work. All right. So we got all of these hungry... Oh my... Oh. I see. So th it's this place. Interesting. Hello. Oh. Oh. Oh dear. There's more people here than ever. Hmm. Are you just passing through? Oh. A volunteer. You're the only one this year. Things have really changed. We used to have hundreds of volunteers this time of year. The people here are starving. There's no two ways about it. I don't know how we're going to feed everyone this year. The man who runs the budget store used to be homeless. He knows the struggles they face. I'll look after the things here. Can you go to the budget store? It's really close. Any food is gratefully received. Oh, that's that's really sad. They have nobody else to help them out? Damn. That sucks. All right, so we have the budget store. All items are sold out. Oh, no. Hello, young lad. What can I do for ye? What can I do for ye? A food donation for the homeless? Hmm. I'm sorry, but everything's sold out. Everyone's preparing for Christmas, lad. I might have something on the attic. If you find anything, you have it. I know how difficult it gets. Damn. This isn't going to be one of those feel-good quests, is it? Alright, so I, I need to get up onto... Oh, the second floor? How do I do that? Um, well, obviously not. Oh, wait, yeah. It is through here. Duh. All right. So you said there might be something. <laughs> what? 
Uh, I found a moldy apple. What? Why did the apple come to life? All right, so I, I just have an apple. Uh, do I have to do parkour? Oh god, I have to do parkour, don't I? Because he said it was up on the roof, right? Uh, oh, I missed it. Okay. And I know one of you guys said, because uh, I know I had troubles with the parkour last time, that I need to practice. I do. I just don't want to. <laughs> that, that, that's just a personal choice. I know I'm bad, but I can live with that. Alright, so I have two moldy apples now, and I should have emptied out my inventory, but I'm a dum-dum, and I don't do that. So I'm going to put the wand away, because I know that's going to mess with me, because I'm going to teleport for some reason, and then this stupid apple is going to follow me. Stay away, apple! No more! Is there is there anything up there? I feel like I'm missing something, right? Oh, uh, okay, it turns out I am stupid. Uh, the moldy apple was the food. Alright, well... I don't think anyone's gonna want to eat the moldy apple, so... Any news? I see. I was counting on him. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, Nick. I can't be too upset. He donates so much to the rest of the year. Well, yeah. He, he, he tries his best. We may have to ask the farmers directly. I know someone in Ternaves with a kind heart. Hey, I was just in Ternaves. Maybe I know them too. We've fallen out before. Seems he didn't understand what a donation was. There's a shortcut south from here in a cave. Go through there. Oh, also, can you give this blanket to Margaret while you're down in the tunnel? Just follow the road behind me. The road? This? There's a tunnel? An another fast travel tunnel? Bring the blanket to the woman in the tunnel south of Nick. Margaret, hey! Hello. Oh, please, m don't move me along. I have nowhere else to go. Oh, a blanket for me? How sweet. From Nick, you say? He's always so kind. Thank you as well. If you want to get to Ternaves quickly, just keep going through this tunnel. Someone friendly, homeless, what the frick? Oh, okay. Someone friendly, uh, homeless folks live around here too. So be careful. It's so sad, their state. Yeah, yeah, I would agree. Man, this uh, this quest is not pulling the punches. It kind of feels like... Alright, just keep going through this tunnel. Why are you living down here? There's so many... I mean, yeah, I guess you have nowhere else to go. It's a desperate man. Oh, man, I feel... Oh, I feel bad. I don't want to kill them. I don't want to kill them. I'm going to leave them alone. I don't want to kill them. I feel bad that I already killed one. Um, okay. Uh, they're, they're just people who are dealing with a hard time. God damn. Duh, oh, parkour. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm not... If I don't have to, I'm not going to kill the people. Because I have no reason to. Oh, wow. That was quick travel. Hello, Turnaves. Hi. What? Oh, I thought you were shooting at me for a second there. Alright, so I need to find his friend by asking a farmer directly, but it doesn't... Oh, pff, does... I'm sorry, kitties. I'm sorry. Oh, man. Uh, I feel bad. Uh, I'm trying to throw the apples away. Oh, goodness. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Are you... Welcome to my farm. Looking to buy some of my fresh crops? Well, it seems that you're out of luck. I just sold out the last of them from this harvest. It was all for that big craft miss feast happening in Debtless. I wish I could help you out, but I'm fresh out of food to sell ya. Wait. I bet Nicky sent you, didn't he? Well, he's coming up on your left. Remind me. Remind him that this isn't a charity. Hey, Butter Dragonfly, any luck? Well, we can't get any food? We're running out of options here. Well, there's only one person left that we can appeal to this time of year. Follow me. Follow? What? Where have I... I gotta find Santa again? What the... Okay, explore the area and look for Santa. 
Um, I've been here before. Is this is this the same? No, it's not. It's not the same island. That's interesting. All right, so I'm gonna say he's not that way. Unless he is. That'd be weird. Um, hmm. So we gotta go find Santa again, but I already have a bit of a big snow rabbit, and that doesn't look fun. So I've, I've already met Santa before. Does that mean I'll have a bit of a leeway with him? Maybe? That's not the right way. What the? Where am I supposed to go? Explore the area. I just gotta find Santa. Okay, fair enough. So is this before Santa turns evil? Because I think that's supposed to happen in like a couple of years. Because, you know, I messed around with the timeline. Oh, wait. Was the penguin... Oh, I am... Oh, man, I am awful. I think the penguin was... Penguin, not penguin. P Piglins. Piglins are the new mob. Um, I think the penguins were friendly. Where am I supposed to go? Honestly, I have no clue. Oh, I can't go that way anyway. All right. So I literally, is it behind the waterfall? No, nope. okay, didn't think so. Hi penguins. Bye penguins. No Google, I didn't say anything to you. I saw you light up. Oh, is it this way? Nope, okay, yeah. Oh, oh, wait, here we go. Oh, okay. If I fall in the water, I have to restart. Hmm, <laughs> little bit of ice parkour. That's cheeky. That's cheeky. <laughs> okay. I gotta keep the momentum. Oh, no, please. No. Okay, okay. That's a cool little sequence. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't... Oh, I thought, that, I thought that was an empty space. I don't like this. But I'm gonna follow the ice. I, I gotta say, I don't mind parkour, but ice parkour can frick off. I don't like ice parkour. I mean, it's fun when it really works out, but when you screw up, you screw up. It's bad. <laughs> at least I'm bad at it. That, that's just me, though. I'm awful at parkour. I, I gotta say, I, I don't ever play those mini games. Alright, so Santa's this way. Ooh, up here? Hello? <laughs> This must be Santa's village. You should probably look for him. Wait. What? That was weird. Damn, level 105. Alright, so we found Santa's village, so we gotta look for him. Hi, Ellen. There's a lot to do before Christmas. Thank God it's only once a year. Yeah, that's probably a good thing. Uh, for everybody. Okay, so I'm assuming he's in his workshop? The Christmas elves are pretty tall in this universe. Uh, Elvira? Hiya! I was just finished decorating the Christmas tree. Oh, you're looking for Santa? He is right down the stairs to the right. He is right down the stairs to the right. That's the left. So he's downstairs. Aha! Here we go. So he's down in his workshop then. Is this a new workshop? Uh, retark? I've been repping presents all week long. My hands are starting to hurt. Ah, it sounds like a issue. Oh, okay. Okay, that's kind of cool. I like that. It's a little conveyor belt of, uh... Presents? Nick? Hi. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Santa's back <laughs> in one episode. <laughs> Nick, you know the deal. The council all have their areas to care for. Yours is Almush. How you care for it is your responsibility. There's five times more homeless and hungry than last year. Nick, I know times are tough out there, but... Tough? It's impossible. What happened to people's goodwill? I had one volunteer this year. One. I'm sorry, Nick. You could go to Deathless and ask there. They have a big feast. Uh, they have a feast big enough to feed an army. Hmm... Oh, sorry. I miscalculated your journey here. Good to see you. I suppose you heard Santa and I. Our next location is Deathless. All right. Then it's settled then. 
Leave through the fireplace behind me. It'll bring you directly to Deadless. Good luck, Nick. So, Nick works for Santa, and Santa has helpers that take care of like all the the homeless and stuff in each in each area. Interesting. The portal brought you to Deadless. The ball must be nearby. Oh, the ball is in like the party. need a drink of water all right so i gotta go find where the party's taking place i assume um where where would it be it's got to be at like a tavern or something right oh well thank you okay so i just gotta figure out where it is halloween decorations interesting i'm doing a christmas mission all right, is it over here? It's got to be, right? No, 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 no. It says... No, no, no. This is the barracks. This isn't where I'm supposed to be. I thought this was the uh, the one diner area. All right. So we got to keep going. Hmm. I'm not really sure where it would be. Just got to search around, I guess. Oh, it's Craftmas. Is it? Is it here? I think I found it. Yeah! Wow, the people here live in such grandeur. I wonder if they know people are starving to the east. Let's ask around for some donations. More importantly, let's hope they'll share a trifle of food. Alright, so I just gotta go around and ask... Oh my goodness. This is a, this is a ballroom if I've ever seen one. So I gotta go around and ask for donations. Hi, guards. I can't wait for the feast to be served. It's always magnificent. You want me to donate food? I'm just a guest here. All right, so I gotta find the person who runs this place. Then, I think that would be that would make the most sense. Aha, the server. What are you doing here? This is this event is invite only. You aren't even in a formal dress. Excuse me, I look stunning. What do you want? I, I just I just need some food to donate. Food? You want food? Does this look like a charity to you? There are people starving. Of course not. We have an obligation to feed our partygoers, not some poor scraps of men in the desert. Now get out of here before I call the security golems and don't even think about stealing from the kitchen. Hey, Nick. I don't think we're getting donations. But I, I am definitely going to go into the kitchen. I think this is the way. All right. It's uh, it's stealing, but it's I, I'm I'm like Robin Hood. It's stealing for a good cause, right? <laughs> I don't know how this would work. That's a tiny fridge. All right. No, I can't steal from here. Dang it! <gasps> Wait, food crate. Okay, there we go. I got a crate of food. Cool. This crate is filled with Christmas goodies. Perfect. This should be enough. All right, Nick. I got you some food. I don't think there's anyone else. Oh, Kamoff? I can't give away free food. This is the biggest feast of the year. You should go and ask charities for that. Wow. Stuck up people. It, I'm just asking for a little bit of food for some people who were starving. All right. Well... I got a crate of food. Hopefully that's enough. I'm going to go talk to Nick. Were you able to get any food? You do? I didn't expect them to be so generous. A whole crate? Wait a minute. Oh. Yeah, uh, about the about the generosity. Stealing is not the Chris is not in the Christmas spirit. But I think I can make this work. Go on ahead. I have a plan. Don't worry, I'll return all of this food. Ex excuse me? Listen up, everyone. I know you are hungry, because I am too. But your dinner will not be served tonight. Oh? There will be no Christmas feast this year. Nick, what's going on? You can't do that. 
The food on the table isn't enough to feed everyone here. This one night, this one missed meal. Damn, Nick. This is how thousands of people live every day. Hungry. Wondering when the food will be available. And while you sit there with empty stomachs, be thankful for what you have. Spare a thought for those who have not. Hundreds of men, women, and children, just like you, will not eat tonight at all. All because this enormous feast was not enough. Deadless bought all the food, cheap or expensive. I'm here to remind you the real meaning of this day. To think of others. I will return your meal tonight. But while you eat it, I want you to remember every empty mouth it could have filled, fed. Share what you have. Be thankful for what you are given. Well, it looks like you came through yet again, Nick. Came to see if I could help out, but looks like you've done it. Well, I guess there's only one thing left to do to complete this scene. Santa's magic? What do you do? Santa? Hope you all have a Merry Christmas. Ho <laughs> ho! That was interesting. Hmm. Looks like my little speech brought the rich back down to earth. They gave us half their feast. Can you believe they still had leftovers? All that food going straight to waste. They have no idea what they have compared to these poor folk. You might be wondering why I know Santa. Well, he's my brother. Oh, really? My siblings and I take care of people at Christmas. Craftmas, sorry. <laughs> My area is the Almuge Desert. I guess you could call me Santa Claus. <laughs> okay, wait, that that's actually funny. I'm probably stupid, but that that's funny. You gotta admit it. It's people like you that keep the real meaning of this holiday alive. It gets harder every year as the meaning is distorted. Here's a personal gift from me. Thank you. We leveled up. Got more max HP, a new quest, a spell upgrade... Another spell upgrade for Meteor and Heal, so Heal will work even better. That's really nice. It gave me two two diamond oh emerald no. Two stacks of emeralds. That that that's what they are. Damn, that whoo that quest. That was that was a good one. I, I like that quest a lot. The uh the first two. Obviously the first one was just to get you uh the horse. Uh, the second one was just kind of like a... It was just a fetch quest with, like, a little bit of story behind it. With, like, some of the characters. Also, to give you access to the uh, glass blowing shop. Uh, but this quest... This is another one of those quests that, um... Yeah. It, it, it's... It's what makes me want to recommend this to anybody who has not played this before. Because this is just simply amazing. It's, it's really awesome. Um... Oh, yeah. I'm not supposed to be down here. I already solved the crime. But, on that note, I think I'm going to have to end this here because this is all I can share with you for now. So, I hope you guys are having a great day. And if you are, I hope you guys keep having a great day. And I'll see you guys all in the next episode. Bye-bye!